Hello, today I will show you how to make uh, this particle effect, and uh, this is very simple. Uh, I want to introduce uh, uh, the subframe, the sub steps, uh, the function of that. So, uh, let's begin our tutorial of subframe and the sub sub step. So let's go to Blender 4.2, and then let's go to Geometry Node. And here I will press new to have a geometry node here. So I will use sphere here and disconnect this. Connect a sphere to group output and transform uh, transform geometry here. And I will change the shape like uh, 0 0.2. Uh, make it like this. And uh, next, I will turn the mesh to volume to volume here. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I need to change the language to English. Okay, that's English. And uh, next step, we'll distribute the points on in volume and uh, bigger density like this. So this is just for demonstration. So the density is 100. Uh, later, when we succeed to make the effect, we will increase the density. And uh, we will have simulation nodes here. Yeah. And uh, like before, we will need a join. Oh no, not this one. We will need a join geometry here. Disconnect this and connect this. In a set position, and like uh, like before, we will need a uh, noise here, and we will need to change it to four D, and we will need to use the map range, change it to vector, connect it to color, uh, because the noise, uh, the value of the noise is uh, from zero to one, so we need to change the value to negative 1 to 1 here and then we connect it to offset and uh, we can see it's increasing and uh, we make more space and uh, like before we will store in the attributes and the integer to define the time So we will use a time and then we will have a mess node here. Every frame we will add one. And we will delete geometry. And we will compare. If it's uh, greater than like uh, um, 50, uh, 50 for me. Ah, uh, okay. We will need to save that. If it's bigger than 50, we will delete the points. And uh, I think it's too much points. Okay, 30. 30 is okay. And here we see that uh, uh, the, the, the point, the particle is uh, not uh, uh, changing every frame. Uh, I mean, uh, they are not so uh, so beautiful. So here, I will use the W, uh, like the seed. It's uh, called a seed for the noise. So we will use C frame, and uh, as plain it will be like this. And this is better. Here, I will use mass to connect here. Change to multiply, multiply zero point one to make the. Uh, make uh, it uh, like a little jittery. Yeah, just like this. So then here, uh, I will define uh, the sub step. So here, let's let's get this all together. Join them, and I will call them sub step. Step or iteration. So the method I use here is to have a repeat zone 
here. I think I think all of you will have a, we will think about this node, and uh, it's the only way we can make this. Okay. Okay, then we will need to define the iteration, like the value. So I will call, call it iteration, uh, and uh, we need to make more space. No. Uh, we will have a strength here. We will need a math node here. We will change it to skill. And the skill, this value is the strength. Okay, we will change the name to strength. So let's connect to skill. And we see it's like this 0 0.1. And it's like this, right? So if I want it to be one, and uh, I want uh, uh, I want the effect like zero point one, but uh, the strength is like it is. So we need to have the iteration. The iter iteration will solve this problem. So we need to use math here. We will need to calculate. We will use strength to divide the iteration and give the value to scale. So if we change the uh, iteration to like 10. Let's check the effect. It will be like this. The iteration works. Okay, we need to get the uh, repeater inside the here. Okay, so this uh, this method works. So you can make uh, make them all into one node, or like me, I will, every time I will define it define it again because I think uh, this method, method is very simple. So we have successfully made the uh, iter iteration effect. So this is the uh, most important in this tutorial. And the next uh, we, we need to just uh, to uh, make the particle effect. So next uh, we will set a, a radius like this, maybe like 0 0.1. And uh, we will set material. Give it the default material. And uh, next, uh, we will use bake. Give it to animation. Uh, because uh, when the density increased, uh, there are a lot of particles, and it's harder for the computer to uh, uh, compute all of them in a second. So we need to bake them, make it stable. So look, my computer worked very slow, very slowly. So we need to pick that. And uh, uh, when we come to render, here we change it to cycle. Here. Okay, I think the radius uh, is uh, a little bigger. So we need to make it smaller. Let's go to shading. Okay, it will be like this. And uh, there is a problem that you can see that here. Uh, there are many particles uh, in the space which makes the effect seems uh, um, noisy. I think this is the correct word. I think the image. Yeah, and the particle in the space will make it noisy. So in geometry node, uh, we need to delete some particles. Uh, we must delete here. So we will, if it's uh, less than, I think uh, maybe three, less than three, connect the T, the time. Yeah, let's go to shading. Yeah, it's much more smooth, and this is the effect we need. 
Uh, so in the end, we need just to, to increase the density and the bake length. And if you want to make it better, you can add a C, C time here to change the seed to make it uh, more random. Okay, it will be like this. Very beautiful. And before render, then you can store a named attribute. Like uh, I store the vector. I call it V. And I use the scale. And uh, we need to use a mass node. Here, multiply, and we need to multiply the iteration to get the, uh, I think, uh, the right vector. Oh, no, 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 I connected to the wrong socket. I need to uh, connect here. Yeah, here. So you can use the V. Uh, to render the particles, it will be very beautiful. So I think uh, this is the whole tutorial, and it's very simple. And I think uh, it will be very helpful if you want to uh, use the iteration effect. And uh, okay, this is the whole tutorial, and uh, thank you for watching. If you like my video, please thumbs up. If you want to see my future videos, please subscribe. Okay, thank you very much. Bye bye.